Well, hello guys. We are here at the abandoned Adams IGA market in Derby, Connecticut. I think this closed down about five, six years ago. And by the way, guys, the big Y that was in Antonio that closed down, it relocated over here in Derby, Connecticut, I believe, three years ago, I think in 2019, November. Could be wrong, but I don't know. Um, let's check this place out. There isn't many IGA uh, supermarkets that are uh, closed, I mean, open nowadays. Um, there's only several of them that are open in the tri-state area. I know there's one in Bloomingdale, New Jersey, that's still open. So let's check this out real quick. So I guess they had the uh, entrance doors over here. posted on front of building so they gave it a b i guess the city of derby <laughs> oh, let's look inside well it looks pretty much gutted out the lights are still on I'm not gonna peek my window through there. The freaking door's dirty. <laughs> and I had one of those signs. This is the same sign that I saw at the other, uh, the big Y that was closed in Ansonia. So yeah, the whole place is gutted out. You can see, it looks like they're working inside the place. There's several machines in here. Uh, I'm assuming this place might turn into a different, like, supermarket or something. I don't know. I mean, since Big Y is here, they have to turn it into something else instead of a, a grocery market. So I'm assuming. Well, look how old this, uh, the hallway is here. Looks like it's been here for a uh, very long time, probably since the 90s. I hate doing videos like during this time because of all these freaking people. I mean, I don't hate people, but just too many cars and people around here nowadays. If I did this in the morning, of course it would have been better. I like my, doing my videos in peace where nobody really bothers me. But uh, I didn't feel like waking up mad early today, so. I don't know why this is boarded kind of strange to see that so there's a liquor store right next to this abandoned IGA too so is this part of the IGA it says DLC for leasing call this number the website is right here too, dlcmanagement.com. Oh yeah, this is part of the IGA, that's pretty cool. Here you can see the signage. This store recognized for IGA. That's pretty cool to see that. <laughs> At least we have uh, one remnant left of the IGA here. It's pretty nice. Exit hometown crowd. Look at that automatic caution door sign. It looks like fading away the yellow. Yeah, so I'm assuming this place has been here since the 90s. There's a shopping cart in there too. Nice. Wow. Uh. Yeah, this whole place is gutted out. There's n no merchandise left. All you see is like 
this table, shopping cart, some lights are on. It's good to see there's no vandalism inside the place, no graffiti or anything. Knack. All right, guys, let's check the back area of this place. That's some nice, uh, I think apartments or condos over there. It's pretty nice. How old that speaker is. Huh. Yeah, this place has got to be here since like the 90s. I can just tell. There's also a postal service box here. Second one I saw here in Connecticut. <sighs> well, I'm glad I'm back to be filming, man, because I haven't filmed in like a week and a half. So sorry if I didn't film for you guys. Um, wasn't feeling well, but now I'm back to doing what I love to do. It's one of the side doors here. There's no... Uh, door handle on it so shipping receiving docks there's three here I guess uh, I don't know what the hell this is for I heard a sound inside there. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I think they're working inside there, I don't know. And here's a door with a door handle and a doorbell. Let's ring it real quick. You know what, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here, guys. Let's get out of here. I think they're working inside there, so that was a bad idea to hit the doorbell. Because <laughs> I hear sounds inside there, so. Alright guys, that does it for this video. Just want to show you the front of this place real quick. Too many cars going by. This is what I hate. <sighs> so yeah, this was the storefront of the abandoned IGA, the Adams IGA in Derby, Connecticut. I believe this probably closed down like five, six years ago, probably in 2016, 2017. That's what I'm assuming. Um, if you guys want to check out a, uh, an open IGA, there's one in Bloomingdale, New Jersey. Uh, that's in Passaic County. My dad had his pizzeria. It was one of my first videos that I filmed, the pizza city that that used to be there, but now it's a whole liquor store in Bloomingdale, New Jersey. Um, there's, there's still an IGA that's open there, believe it or not. It's a small one. But it's, uh, you know... It's good where if you just want to get in and get out real quick and just buy something, so. But there is several, I think, in uh, New Jersey and New York, but I don't know about other states in the Northeastern. So, all right, guys, that'll be it for this video, and I'm done for the day. Maybe I will film tomorrow, but that's about it. So, signing off today, guys. Peace out. Take care.